right, time now for today's today. Some people can lace up their shoes and head out for a long run without giving it a second thought. They run with little effort and with great endurance. For others, getting through a five-kilometer run can be, well, it can be torture. Rocky Sharma gives us some tips to work on at the gym that may help you when you hit the course. We're doing some uh, great prep work for runners, especially as so many of them are heading out for these five, ten half marathons, full marathons over the summer. And you're really about kind of making it as easy as possible Efficiency. for, them, for your clients. Right. The more efficient you are, the longer you're able to go. That's the secret. It's actually not a secret. It's just that simple. You use a weighted ball. And this is a, a good one because sometimes you'll notice runners kind of weave in between people. It's just a terrain. It's just not so straight. And if what you're doing is fighting against it, well, guess what you're doing? You're spending more energy trying to maintain perfect posture and you're taking away of your, your actual running legs. Just twisting the ball side to side is a great promoter of internal contractions. That means that even though I'm twisting, you're not seeing my stomach, but it is as tight as, possibly, as, as I possibly can. And promoting this is what's gonna allow me to actually be quiet while running because it's automatic now. I've trained my obliques to keep me upright. Make sense? Yeah. Show what, in, what you don't want to see before okay. I start. So, you don't so see what I don't want to see is, is my that. face looking at the ball. Straight ahead. That's Look at your going. target. It's the finish line over there, right? Yep. We want to keep looking. You got it. You got it. And you're promoting obliques. Boom. Correct. And you see how you're not falling east to west? If you were out of shape, I would see. <laughs> That, exactly. You would be moving off, off balance. Makes sense. 